Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jack Tretton. <laughs> I gotta take a second to soak you guys in. First of all, if that video didn't get your heart pumping, you came to the wrong place. We have the most passionate consumers in the world. And if you don't believe me, talk to some of the people that lined up starting at 4 o'clock yesterday to be part of this event. I appreciate you coming. This is the Super Bowl for those of us that live and die in the gaming industry. And everything that is said at the press conference will be graded and judged. People will talk about who won E3, who lost E3. Every announcement and every word that is said will be scrutinized and we'll be talking about years down the road, not only for what was said, but how it was said, which makes the job of hosting this event so fun and relaxing for me. And I, and I, I thank everybody for that. It's been 17 years since our industry formed its own event to celebrate gaming. And PlayStation is privileged to have been here since the very beginning. Every year, we pay tribute to heroes with names like Nathan Drake, Cole McGrath, and Solid Snake. This year, we want to begin by paying tribute to the real heroes of our industry, the true visionaries, the ones who have driven us all to succeed. We want to begin by paying tribute to the gamers. That's right, to the gamers sitting in this arena today and to the millions joining us via the PlayStation blog, Facebook, 
PlayStation Home, and all of our live stream partners. We're broadcasting tonight in four languages. And for those of you who can't be here at E3 in person this week, you can visit the PlayStation booth virtually in home. The world's greatest creative minds are at PlayStation. And by combining our leadership with your voracious appetite for amazing games, we've created one of the most vibrant and dynamic industries in the world. Your loyalty and support for great entertainment has driven the industry forward and is at the very core of this next generation experiences that you'll see tonight from PlayStation. There's someone in the audience tonight who has played a crucial role in our industry and is synonymous with PlayStation's commitment to jaw-dropping entertainment for gamers. I had the pleasure of working for this man for the last 17 years, and he takes his commitment to gaming and heritage all the way to the very top of one of the world's biggest corporations. Please welcome Kaz Harai, President and CEO of Sony, Sony Corporation. I love you, man. Kaz helped build the connected world of PlayStation. And today, nobody has the strengths that we do in gaming and entertainment. And nobody has a more expansive ecosystem. From PS3 to PS Vita to PlayStation Network and PS Suite, the PlayStation world is growing to meet every gaming need you have, wherever and whenever you play. The collective creativity and passion within PlayStation is driving our latest breakthrough gaming experiences. And we're excited to share those with you tonight. There's no better example of what's possible on our platform than this first title. It's a completely new IP from a company that redefined the boundaries of gaming and storytelling with the 2010 Game of the Year, Heavy Rain. PlayStation fans have been waiting to see the next genre-defining title from the amazing talent at Quantic Dream. I'm very pleased to say the wait is over. Please join me in welcoming David Cage. Over the past 15 years, Quantic Dream has developed unique games based on interactive storytelling and emotions. With Heavy Rain and more recently our tech demo, Kara, we showed how real-time 3D could be used to create even more emotional experiences. Today, I'm happy to announce Quantic Dream's next title for PlayStation 3, and this new project is called Beyond. Death is the biggest mystery of mankind. What will happen after we die is something no one knows. We all have our hopes, our fears, our doubts. But what's on the other side remains unknown. Jody Holmes knows a little bit more about all this than you and I. As far as she remembers, she has always felt a link with an invisible entity some presence around her, spirit or ghost, she doesn't really know. Something living between our world and the other side. Beyond tells Jody's story over 15 years of a life. We will see her growing, evolving, learning to live with a difference, and discovering more about what's beyond. For the first time in a video game, we will live the life of a character go with her through happy and difficult times and help her to become who she is. We have much to reveal about the game in the coming months, but today I want to share with you a very important element of Beyond. The name of the actress playing the role of Jodie Holmes. I was looking for a talented young actress, someone who could embody Beyond's lead role in a very unique way. And I'm proud to announce that Jody Holmes will be played by Academy Award nominee Ellen Page. Yeah. 
Ellen delivered a stunning performance, something I have never seen in a game before. She is the most incredible Jodie Holmes I could dream of. And I'm sure that all gamers will instantly fall in love with her. What you are going to see now is one of the first scenes of the game. And of course, everything runs in real time. Ma'am. Ma'am. Do you hear me? Do you understand me? You speak English? I, uh, brought you that cup of coffee. I found you by the side of the road, in the middle of nowhere. Was there an accident? Did, did someone try to hurt you? Look, I, I want to help you. But you got to give me something. Anything. How about a name? Someone I could contact? You must have family, friends, someone who could tell me who you are. You don't talk much, do you? If you don't help me, I can't help you. Oh, I get nowhere. Is that a scar? Is that a reason? To I'm gonna go back to my desk. Check the missing persons list. You stay here. I'll be right back. If you need anything, I'll be, I'll be just outside.
everyone. Come on, Aiden. I think they get the message. Beyond will be unlike anything you have experienced before. It will be emotional, mature and unique, but also epic, breathtaking and spectacular. We want to create unique moments that players will remember for a long time. We invite you to a unique journey in the life of Jody Holmes. And if you make the right decisions, maybe you will discover what lies beyond. Thank you. Simply incredible, David. Thank you so much. The PS3 is in its sixth year of its life cycle, and it continues to shatter expectations by giving developers the industry's most powerful palette to create from. Only on PlayStation 3 will you see the high-definition cinematics, rich storytelling, and huge action that we just witnessed with Beyond. And only on PlayStation will you find some of the industry's most iconic characters. Characters with the depth and emotion of Jody Holmes, the newest member of the PlayStation family. Over the past two decades, you've stormed beaches, explored new lands, and discovered ancient treasure with them. If you're a member of the PlayStation Nation, there is one name that should have particular meaning for you. Michael. That's right. Last fall, hidden in a faraway place, a room full of the most popular heroes from PlayStation Universe raised their glasses in a toast to Michael. In fact, the Michael spot became the most viral tech video of all time, more than 10 million views in its first week. And if you're like me, you probably wondered what happened 30 minutes after that toast. Some of them decided it would be fun for them to fight together. And some of them even decided it would be more fun to fight each other. How the battle turns out is up to you in our newest title, PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. Hello everyone, I'm Chan Park from Superbot Entertainment. When our team first announced PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale in late April, we were overwhelmed with the tremendous positive response the game received. Um, as details of our game became available, we heard from a number of you that thought that this would be a perfect game for the Vita, and we could not agree more. So today, I'm thrilled to announce that All-Stars will be available for Vita and will be cross-compatible with PS3. So to give you a demonstration of crossplay and Vita gameplay, I'm going to turn it over to a few of our All-Stars, including Omar Kendall, our game director. Thanks, Chan. So we've got four players, two on the PlayStation 3, Paul and Mike. Paul will be playing as Kratos, Mike will be playing as Sweet Tooth. We also have two players on the PS Vita, Ed and Ray Ray. Ed will be playing as Fat Princess, and Ray Ray will be playing as Sly Cooper. So these characters will be fighting each other and they'll be building up this energy. Uh, this energy powers a super attack. Uh, these super attacks are how our players score points. And the goal of the game at the end of our three minute match is to have the most amount of points. 
Uh, I'm going to talk you through a, a match really quick. We'll be playing on Metropolis from the Ratchet and Clank universe. Each character has a different approach to the match. Uh, characters like Kratos and Fat Princess are more melee-centric, so you'll see them get into the mix of things, do a lot of combos and hard-hitting attacks. You've got characters like Sweet Tooth, who has a more patient game. He can lay mines and perform shotgun attacks, and you'll see him do that throughout the match. He's able to generate a lot of this energy while he's fighting. Then, of course, we have Sly Cooper. He does a lot of sneaking and invisibility. He does a lot of stealing from the other players, and he'll do that primarily to collect his AP. So already we're about 30 seconds into the match, and Sweet Tooth is already working on a level one super. He seems a, a fair bit ahead of the other characters right now. He's holding on to that super. Let's see, it looks like he might be going for a level two super. Each super is progressively stronger than the last. They're a little bit more expensive, but they're also better at scoring points. Looks like Fat Princess and Sly Cooper now are also at the level one super range, and now Kratos is there as well. So you'll start seeing supers going off. There you see Kratos on the board early, just got a kill on Fat Princess. He's already working on regenerating that level one super. It looks like Sweet Tooth has now crested over. He does have his level two super. Oh, and you see Captain Cork. Oh, and it's the Hydra from God of War. That famous first boss fight from the original God of War 1 on the PlayStation 2. Periodically, those Hydra will interact with the match, and the players will have to pay attention to that. And it does look like Sweet Tooth is holding a lot of meter right now. I think he's probably going to go for a level 3. Kratos just tried a level 1 super and didn't, wasn't successful in getting any kills. Fat Princess also has a level 2. Is she going to fire that off, or is she going to try to go for a level 3? Let's see. She does go for a level 2 super. Fat Chicken, she's going to go for some kills. The other players have to avoid her now. Nope, Sweet Tooth could not get away. She's going to try to get a kill on Kratos. She does get a kill on Kratos and on Sly Cooper. That was a great level 2 super for Fat Princess. She got 3 kills. Meanwhile, Sweet Tooth still seems to be working towards his level 3 super. Kratos has tried a level 1 on Sly Cooper, but Sly Cooper did manage to get away. Sly Cooper also looks like he just crested over into his level 2 range. Let's see if he uses that now or if he holds on to that as well. All right, it does seem like Sweet Tooth did get his level 3 Super Mega Tooth. It's an extremely powerful level 3 Super. His firepower is drastically increased. He does manage to take out what looks like all three opponents. Let's see if he can score again. He does manage to get Kratos. Looked like a really good, successful level 3 Super for Sweet Tooth there. He got about four kills. Meanwhile, it does look like Sly Cooper is going to try that level 2. Let's see if he gets any kills. He does manage to get Sweet Tooth. Not the best use of level 2 super there, only managed to get one kill with that. That's a pretty expensive super to only get one kill. Here we are on the last 30 seconds of the match now, it looks like that princess is perhaps working again towards a level 2. Oh, Quark just got taken out there by the Hydra. Kratos back at that level 1 super, let's see if he tries to use it. He does use it, but does not manage to get any kills, and there Fat Princess does manage to collect two kills with the level 1. Does pretty well for herself there. Sweet Tooth just missing a level 1 super. We have 10 seconds left. Let's see what happens here. It's been a very competitive match. I'm actually not sure who's winning. Fat Princess starts another level 1 super. Time up! And that is time. All right, let's see who wins. Uh, it looks like Fat Princess took that one. Nice job, guys. Thank you, guys. So I'd like to invite everybody out to the Sony PlayStation booth to check out both the Vita and the PS3 versions. And also stay tuned for additional surprises and announcements in the upcoming months. But before we leave, we have a surprise just for E3. We want to unveil two new characters that will be playable on the show floor. So I think you'll all be as excited as we are. Thank you so much.
Very, very cool. Thanks, Chan. We wanted to take the best of our lineup and bring them to life across the PlayStation ecosystem for a one-of-a-kind, always-on experience that you can play wherever and whenever you choose. By bringing PlayStation All-Stars to PS3 and PS Vita with full crossplay between the two, we're doing just that. With crossplay, you'll be able to play with up to three of your friends, either on PS3 or Vita, and enjoy the same high-def online experience. In addition, All-Star supports cross-save, so you can save your progress on PS3 and pick it up later on the Vita. You can check out these features for yourself when All-Stars for PS3 and Vita are available later this holiday season. PlayStation continues to invest heavily in cross-platform features because it's not only about what you play, but also where you play. Later this year, we'll introduce a new cross-controller DLC for Little Big Planet 2 that allows owners to play, create, and share games using the PS3 and the Vita together. Utilizing dual-screen gaming in single-player, Vita becomes an enhanced controller for the PS3, enabling front and rear touch and tilt capabilities while adding another gaming dimension that provides different viewpoints on PS3 and Vita. The cross-controller DLC will also enable simultaneous multiplayer on PS3 and Vita. And it'll give each player their own in-game controls and perspectives, but working towards the same objective. The new DLC will offer a new story mode, new costumes, new stickers, decorations, and objects. These are just a couple of examples of how cross-platform features will enhance your gameplay and create completely new experiences. PlayStation All-Stars crossplay functionality is a unique feature that can only be found on PlayStation and is enabled by the industry's best online destination, PlayStation Network. With more than 80% of PS3s and PS Vitas connected to the internet today, gamers around the world are tapping into PSN for their online gaming experiences and entertainment needs. Today we offer more than 1,500 downloadable titles and our investment in AAA exclusive game experiences will be bigger than ever in 2012. PSN will also become the true home for the best indie games in the industry. Our pub fund for independent developers is bringing the most creative and unique games that the world has ever seen. Games like Journey, which has a Metacritic rating of 92 and is PSN's best-selling title of all time. Games like Dyad and Papa Eo, when you can play in, which you can play both in the PlayStation booth this week. And games like Unfinished Swan, which is coming exclusively to PSN later this year. In fact, there'll be more than 200 groundbreaking games coming to PSN over the next 12 months. And it's an astounding number, and it demonstrates the incredible number of developers on the PlayStation platform. In addition to the best digital games, PSN offers PlayStation Plus, our premium membership that maximizes your experience. And since PlayStation Plus started two years ago, members have received 60 free PS3 games and thousands of dollars in discounts. And with features like cloud saves and automatic updates, Plus offers tremendous value to our gamers. And today, we're proud to announce that PlayStation Plus will be amplified by adding a host of great games available for free to all members. This month alone, PlayStation Plus members in North America will be able to download 12 fantastic games, including blockbusters like Infamous 2, Little Big Planet 2, and Saints Row 2. Thank you. All of these games will be available to members starting tomorrow, and new games will be rotated in all the time. With this announcement, we're proud to say that PlayStation Plus now delivers an instant game collection to members for $5 a month. And for those of you who haven't tried PlayStation Plus, there's no better way to understand the extraordinary value it brings than to experience it for yourself. As you leave the arena tonight, each of you will receive a voucher for a one-year PlayStation Plus membership.
Glad to hear that. And for our friends visiting from outside North America, you can bring this voucher to the PlayStation booth this week and exchange it for codes that will work in your respective regions. It's our way of saying thank you for being with us here tonight. PlayStation Network also adds tremendous gaming value to PS Vita. In addition to the incredible AAA lineup for Vita, there are more than 60 completely new titles that will be available in 2012, including digital-only titles like Guacamelee, Retro City Rampage, and When Vikings Attack. And I'm happy to announce that PS1 Classics will be coming to Vita. Beginning this summer, you'll have access to your favorite PS1 classics, such as Tomb Raider and Final Fantasy. <laughs> Think about the fact that PS Vita has been available in North America for only four months, and we've already released more than 40 new games. But with AAA blockbusters, unique digital titles, PS1 classics, and hundreds of PSP hits, the Vita portfolio is growing every day to offer something for every gamer. And of course, PSN is much more than a gaming network, because PSN is part of a broader Sony Entertainment Network, which offers more services than any other platform. In addition to our own video service on PS Store, we offer a growing lineup of TV, movie, and sports entertainment that includes Amazon Instant Video, Cinema Now, Hulu Plus, Vudu, MLB TV, and NHL Game Center, to name a few. And if you're a gamer who also loves a broad selection of entertainment offerings, there's no doubt that PSN and PS3 are the center of your living room. And we're bringing many of these great services along with the industry's best apps to Vita. Just last week, we announced that YouTube is coming to Vita, and I'm happy to announce that Hulu Plus and Crackle are also coming to Vita soon. And we all know that gaming and music go hand in hand, and thanks to our January 2011 launch of Music Unlimited, we offer a catalog of more than 15 million songs available to stream on your PS3, Vita, PSP, Android smartphone, or iOS device. And with our robust lineup of games, videos, TV, and music, PlayStation Network is expanding every day and remains central to our strategy of delivering more entertainment value. PlayStation is long-standing in close relationships with the best developers in the world. And this means more exclusive PlayStation gaming experiences for you. One creator that has become synonymous with the pure horsepower of PlayStation is Activision. And as many of you know, we announced last year that Call of Duty is coming to PS Vita. For the first time ever, you'll have a AAA first-person multiplayer shooter in the palm of your hands with a beautiful five-inch screen dual analog sticks, and seamless online connectivity. I'm happy to announce Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified, and it will launch this holiday season. Needless to say, we're very excited about this title, and you'll be hearing a lot more in the coming months. The biggest franchises are coming to Vita because it enables experiences like no other device ever made. And as you experience with Uncharted Golden Abyss, Vita's capabilities are on full display with unique games that have been developed specifically for it. We have a new Vita title that helps illustrate this point. It's one of the most acclaimed franchises ever created in gaming, and it comes from a top publisher that is celebrating its 26th anniversary in the industry. Let's take a look.
Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation is a game built from the ground up to take full advantage of Vita's capability and power. In addition to featuring the first ever female assassin, Liberation is the complete Assassin's Creed open world experience on Vita, featuring touch controls and support for its camera and near functionality. Liberation will also utilize cross goods between it and Assassin's Creed 3 on PlayStation 3. When you link the two titles, you will unlock Connor's Tomahawk, an exclusive character skin, a multiplayer character, and a complete upgrade of ammunition pouches. Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation will be available on October 30th, and I'm happy to announce that we're offering a special Vita bundle that includes, as you just saw, the first crystal white Wi-Fi Vita. We're also including a four gig memory card and the Liberation game, but that's just the beginning of the story between Ubisoft and PlayStation this year. Assassin's Creed 3 is coming to PlayStation 3 in full force. Set in the time of the American Revolution, you're the hero Connor, and you play a major role across key battles igniting the revolution. The Assassin's Creed 3 experience will be phenomenal, and today we want to share with you an exclusive look at the game. Here to give you a first look is Assassin's Creed 3's creative director, Alex Hutchinson, and associate producer, Philippe Ducharme. We really hope you've seen some of Assassin's Creed 3 already this week, but we wanted to highlight something really special here at the PlayStation Show. Assassin's Creed 3 is not just a brand new assassin and a brand new historical period, but it's also a chance to deliver some brand new fantasies. As astute readers of history will know, the revolution was not just fought on land, but also at sea. of the 18th century, complete with beautiful vistas and a weather system that can change at any moment into heaving swells and pounding rain. You see the catch fart, Captain! Anything, Captain? Due north of here. Sails up, man! Faster! Connor, you are the captain of this vessel, with full control of both navigation and cannons, as you take the fight for the revolution to the high seas.
Thanks a lot, Alex and Philippe. Looks amazing on PS3. And I'm very happy to announce that we've been working closely with Ubisoft to create something very special for PlayStation customers. Assassin's Creed 3 will launch day one with a new PS3 hardware bundle. A bundle will include the PS3, the game, and exclusive DLC. And PlayStation's close partnership with Ubisoft doesn't stop with Assassin's Creed. We have some exciting news to share for you regarding Far Cry 3. Please welcome Dan Hay. Thanks very much. Last year we announced Far Cry 3 and introduced a new brand of insanity. A remote island, an insane cast of characters, and an open world to discover. But during all that time we managed to keep a secret. We didn't build just one game. We built two. Developed by Ubisoft Massive in Sweden for the first time in franchise history, drop into a new kind of insanity. Four-player co-op. All right, guys, let's go. Let's take the bridge. I got him, I got him. I need a better fry, I need a better fry. Thank you. There's another guy here. Okay, I'm headed in. Let's go. Okay. Okay, careful. We got uh, two guys up there. I'm gonna take the guy on the left. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Nice. 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 Oh, careful, careful. It was his time. Front you guys coming from the end of the bridge. Front you guys on the bridge. I'll call you. Okay. I am placing the bomb now. I'm going out. Get him in! Okay, oh. got it. Okay. Oh! Don't. I'm down. I'm down. Uh, okay. Great work, we are already sold. Daniel, let's move up and get the last explosive. Oh. Okay, nice. I see the explosives. Okay, I got to them. Reloading! Keep going! Time to blow a plank! Down! Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. Start moving! Green! There is Molotov! Cover me! Okay, there's a Molotov guy! Uh, you have to hang back with Daniel! Oh, oh there's yeah. Molotovs coming on the right Run side! The he has Molotov! Oh, I put him on fire! I got your back! Guys, move on the side! Move, Daniel! You gotta move! Sniper on the bridge! Reloading! Moving! Hey, now. Okay, there's a, there's a heavy Daniel, you better get him down. I'm trying to stun him. All right. Okay, I'm reloading. We're gonna get off the bridge right now. Okay, okay. okay. Move everybody off. Okay, off Let's go, 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 go. Go. Here we go, here we go. Nice. 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 Good job. Good job. My hand. A monster single player open world experience. A dedicated four player co op campaign. An entire island of competitive multiplayer. And when you're done, build your own Far Cry with our map editor. Welcome to the world of Far Cry. Thanks very much, everybody.
Thanks, Dan. And thanks to Ubisoft, PlayStation gamers will receive a free exclusive DLC for Far Cry 3. Another critical element that adds to the PS3 experience and brings gamers closer to the action is PlayStation Move. The Move experience makes gaming more accessible to everyone and brings a level of immersion that gives you a, as close as possible to becoming a character in the game. Move has offered the most diverse gaming experience since its launch two years ago. And with more than 250 games available today, we have something for everyone on Move. From blockbuster first-person shooters such as Bioshock Infinite and Dust 514, to games that inspire and spark our imagination, like Epic Mickey 2 and Little Big Planet Karting, or games that test our agility and get our hearts racing, like Sports Champions 2. The real hook behind Move is that it's an additive ex gaming experience. It's not an all or nothing premise. Move doesn't require you to be a dedicated motion gaming enthusiast, but if you are, you have more choices than any other platform out there. And while we're excited about what Move and the PlayStation ecosystem offers today, we're equally excited about the future. Here to share more is the new president and group CEO of Sony Computer Entertainment. Please welcome Andy House. Thanks, Jack. It's great to be back at E3 and for the first time in a new role. I'd really like to take this opportunity to sincerely thank PlayStation fans, both here and globally, for all your support. You're the reason we do what we do and why we love this business. There's one constant truth in what we've shown you tonight. Whether it's from PlayStation or our partners, the PlayStation platform is about innovation. Across hardware, software, and online, we're creating transformative experiences that redefine expectations. We've been hard at work on a completely new experience that I think you'll agree is truly innovative. It involves one of the oldest interfaces that we know, the book, to bring new shared experiences for families and a broad array of gamers. Words can't do this new product justice, so let's take a look. What if a book could come to life? Hey, how are ya? Whoa! Beanstalk! Uh, 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 a little help? And I could play with the stories. Uh, see you later! What if I could explore different worlds? Change the stories gotcha. with choices I make. I'm extremely excited to introduce you Wonderbook for PS3. Wonderbook puts a physical book in your hands and supports a new range of experiences that bring stories to life in your living room. Using augmented reality technology by PlayStation Eye that allows you to explore and interact like never before. Wonderbook isn't limited to just stories. Imagine sailing the seven seas to explore an atlas, walking with dinosaurs, traveling beyond the stars to discover astronomy. Traditional reading experiences can take on a whole new meaning. We're working with some of the world's best known developers and authors to create a diverse library of content, including educational and scientific experiences that fully utilize Wonderbook's capabilities. To give you a taste of the incredible talent developing for Wonderbook, I'm pleased to announce that Moonbot Studios is working hard on a fantastic new tale. Many of you already know Moonbot for their Oscar-winning short videos and incredibly successful interactive books for tablets and smartphones. Their new IP for Wonderbook is called Diggs Nightcrawler and is a stylish new detective story inspired by classic film noir. It's a brilliant example of the types of new, mesmerizing experiences Wonderbook will deliver. We'll have more to share with Moonbot and Diggs Nightcrawler very soon. 
We had ambitious goals for the content we wanted to launch with Wonderbook. So we began by working with one of the most popular authors in the world. An author who has brought unlimited entertainment, joy, and magic to all of our lives. J.K. Rowling. The creator of the Harry Potter series. I'm pleased to announce Wonderbook, Book of Spells. Book of Spells is the first title to be published for Wonderbook, and it reflects a strong collaboration between PlayStation and J.K. Rowling, and is also the first product to result from Sony's partnership with Pottermore, which is J.K. Rowling's unique website that builds an exciting online experience around the reading of her Harry Potter books. Featuring exclusive, new, and original writing from J.K. Rowling herself, Book of Spells comes to life as you read, allowing you to cast spells with the PlayStation Move, which becomes your magic wand. Book of Spells takes you on a fantastic journey to read and learn the secrets of wizardry and the art of spellcasting, just like a student at Hogwarts. Here to, to provide a demonstration of Wonderbook Book of Spells, please welcome Dave Ranyard. We actually kept it a secret. <laughs> That's a bit of a surprise to us. <laughs> I can honestly say for all of us on the stage here, we're really excited to be here to show you this demo. Welcome to the reinvention of the storybook. Every wizard needs a wand, and every Hogwarts student needs a magical spell book. And this matches perfectly to our move controller and wonder book. Open the Book of Spells to read new writing from J.K. Rowling. Spell descriptions, stories from the wizarding Fire world, making spells. and significantly, to learn a bit the book's the conundrum. Then you can try a set of poems unlocked at the end of each chapter, which reveal the values of accomplished wizards. As you can see, the Book of Spells is no ordinary book. Remember, this is no Words, textbook. Pictures, point at the stories words, come to life in a way never seen before. Page. Discover many different spells from the world of Harry Potter, read their history, learn to cast them, and try them out with a variety of puzzles and chal challenges. Let's take a look at this dragon in the bottom corner. A previous Hogwarts student has scribbled a warning message Avoid this Remember dragon. Dear uses such Let's see why. Lighting to igniting the occasional Christmas pudding. Of course, you haven't learned any water spells yet, so you'd better find some other way to put out that fire. So the dragon's escaped, he set Rubbed fire to the book, to we soot. managed to put the fire out, and now we need to clean off all that soot. Good as new. Now, we'll take a, a look at another aspect of this book. Including the chief warlock of the Wizengamot to witness You can see we've of created fight. a paper theatre. And this really shows how we can create anything on the, on the book. Of July, 1544, what you can Paul see Bart is the discovery of Wingardium Leviosa, the levitation charm. We don't have time to share this whole story with you today, but please pop by the media area in our booth to have a look to see more. And the Book of Spells is peppered with these stories, containing some fascinating and often very funny histories to the spells you're learning. Into midair. We're now going to learn the fire-making spell. Let go of the button. Now, it went okay in rehearsal, but if anything goes wrong, the fire exits are here, here, and here. 
Okay, so we need to unlock these gates. Uh, and we're going to use the unlocking charm, Aloamora. Okay, well, it is a live demo, so... Tilt up your book so you can see down that hall. Woo! Tilt up your book so you can see down that hall. Okay, so the incantation of this spell is Incendio. And now we're going to learn the gesture to cast the spell. Incendio. It's pretty simple, it's a Z shape. Now you're ready to learn the wand gesture for this spell. Pull up the gesture diagram from the page. To cast the fire making spell, draw a sharp zigzag shape in the air with your wand. Well done. Now, I want you to make the gesture again. Does your new spell some more. Turn the page to move on. OK, and the book can create a safe environment for us to practice our spells in. And that's what's happening here. This place is full of creatures. These paper pests can be a real nuisance, so make sure you get rid of them all with your fire-making spell. You're going to use your fire-flicking technique to burn away all the paper creatures. Ugh, creepy crawlies. Ugh, get rid of them. You'll need to cast Incendio again for this exercise. Aim carefully and see how many you can get rid of. Solid work. Five house points. Ah, butterflies. Remember, this is just bewitched paper. Don't let me catch you trying this spell on the real thing. Nice wand work. You've got a talent for fire making. Please try not to hit classroom objects. They're expensive to replace. You certainly showed them. Five house points. A fire breathing paper dragon. Seems a bit practical. Very good. You've done it. Five house points. Spectacular. You earned 15 house points. So, well done, May. And as a reward, we have a note from the professor and a wizarding photo of one of our finest moments. Each chapter teaches a significant value required to become an accomplished wizard. And these are hidden in the conundrum. Pass the chapter's test to unlock it and discover one of a series of beautiful poems, each revealing a unique and witty tale of a Hogwarts student who did not live up to expectations. The Book of Spells captures the imagination in a way never seen before, and the first of many books to be released for your Wonder Book Library. This is truly an amazing experience, developed in collaboration with one of the world's most inspiring authors, J.K. Rowling. Thank you very much, everyone. Thanks, Dave.
We're obviously ecstatic about Wonderbook, but I think J.K. Rowling herself uh, says it best. Wonderbook and Book of Spells demonstrate what is possible on the PlayStation platform, and it's only the beginning. We'll have much more to share with you before Wonderbook Book of Spells is launched this holiday. As Jack said earlier, the gaming industry today is one of the most vibrant and dynamic in the world. From home consoles to dedicated portable devices to smartphones and tablets, there are more ways to play games today than ever before. We've shown you tonight the amazing gaming experiences that PlayStation brings to PS3 and PS Vita. Very soon, we'll be bringing the PlayStation experience to Android tablets and smartphones in a major way through PlayStation Suite. We announced PlayStation Suite last year with the goal of bringing the world of PlayStation to open operating system-based portable phones and tablets. Our heritage in creating groundbreaking games will enable us to deliver the PlayStation Entertainment experience to a much wider audience around the globe. In April, we made the PlayStation Suite open beta available to the development community, and the response has been nothing short of phenomenal. We now have the industry's next great developers creating PlayStation-certified games that you'll be able to play very soon. Sony Mobile Communications has taken a leading role in gaming in the mobile space, developing the first PlayStation-certified devices. We have many exciting certified phones coming to the market this year, and we look forward to working closely with Sony Mobile Communications. But because PS Suite is for open platforms, we announced last year our efforts to bring the PlayStation experience to more hardware manufacturers, broadening PlayStation-certified phones so that they can run these amazing games. I'm very pleased to announce today that HTC will be our first non-Sony group partner with which we'll share our PlayStation expertise. As an industry leader in the booming smartphone market, HTC is delivering some of the most innovative smartphone designs and experiences. This combination of engineering ex excellence and outstanding design aesthetic has led to this natural and groundbreaking partnership. PlayStation Suite is really about delivering the best possible gaming on mobile phones and tablets. And as such, we're also renaming PlayStation Suite to reflect mobility of the PlayStation experience among a wide range of devices. Beginning today, it will be called PlayStation Mobile. I'll leave you with one more thing tonight. It's that PlayStation is always thinking about the future. We understand that the way we game is changing, the way we play and interact, the way that content is delivered to you, and we're going to lead that future. Gaming and entertainment are in PlayStation's DNA. We continue to commit ourselves to delighting gamers across the spectrum with accessible, innovative, and extraordinary entertainment. Thank you very much for your time tonight, and I hope you're as excited as we are about the future. Thank you again. Thanks, Andy. We've always focused on building the broadest content library available while creating the most immersive gaming experiences in the industry. In our house development team, it has 15 studios that together form the largest first-party exclusive content creators. Every year, their games sell millions of units and have produced some of the industry's biggest hits. Our next title comes from a franchise that has sold over 21 million units since it was introduced in 2005. And by now, most of you have seen a small slice of its multiplayer offerings. And we encourage you to enjoy some hands-on gameplay this week at the PlayStation booth. Tonight, Todd Pappy from the amazing team at Sony Santa Monica Studios is pleased to provide you a sneak peek at what's in store for one of the biggest and most epic releases on PlayStation 3. I pay the price for my ambition.
our game studios?
Ascension, March 12th, 2013. Not in the clear, right? Not while we're in this city. I don't see anything. Come on. Hey, there's another one. Those posters are everywhere. Let's keep moving. How are we getting to the bridge? I don't know yet. like this? I before... I don't want to shit, I mean. No. No, this is too rich for my blood. Oh. Bet it was nice.
Now what? Good job with all the, uh, you know, killing and stuff. Come on. We should search these rooms. titles to demonstrate the groundbreaking creativity in the PlayStation family. 17 years into this adventure and PlayStation continues to be the epicenter of gaming. As we leave E3, our one wish for all of you is that you never stop playing. Keep pushing us, keep driving us, and keep fighting for those groundbreaking experiences that made you a gamer. It's been our great privilege to bring them to you and we'll continue to do everything in our power to raise the bar higher every year. To provide a home at the center of the gaming universe where gamers will always feel welcome and always feel challenged. The journey has been fun, but I promise the best is yet to come. Thanks very much.